Hello and welcome everybody. I hope everyone is doing well. Let's take a look at these cards and hopefully they bring through some inspiration for you today. Surrender to receiving support and love. Is there a need at the moment in your life to allow love and support of others in? Are you resisting? Are you holding back? Are you holding back from receiving um, this offer of service from someone or this love from someone, this support from someone? Are you wanting to handle everything yourself? You know, there's a strength that we all have and there's nothing wrong though with asking for help if we need it. And there's nothing wrong to admitting that there might be a situation that's overwhelming. Because if you are able to accept others and allow them in to help or give to you, then this will be able to take the pressure off and nurture you. So maybe this card and this, these words, maybe you're associated to some, something, a situation going on in your life. And there could be a prompt here, or there could be a, an inspiration, a creative thought, or a subconscious nudging. And something rings true here. Surrender your attachment to results. So the formula for success is do all you can to make things happen and then let go of the results. Holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage it. You know, sabotage as in it can make you feel um, stressed and worried. You know, you worried about it isn't in fact going to sabotage anything. But your feelings can sabotage your uh, sense of well-being about it. You know, so there's a sense of, um, yeah, maybe holding on too tightly and it's sabotaging your experience of it, perhaps because of the emotions around it. Surrender your need to always be right. Give others the gift of letting them be right, be yielding and not rigid. Is there a situation where you feel that you could give in this way. It may even help resolve conflicts because often it does and it may improve relationships as well if you see within yourself that you are in fact always trying to be right or you know in this position of power I suppose. But that's really good reflection though and it's really good insight if you can be aware of exactly how you are in a dynamic. Surrender to wonder and awe. Open to the magic of every moment and sense the awe and wonder in all of life. And this attitude will keep you connected to the ecstasy of flow. So are you feeling in the flow of a situation in your life or maybe not so much? Do you feel that there is magic that is happening? So, you know, that's really being in the flow. When magic is happening, you're feeling in the flow. You're feeling uh, focused. You're feeling like you're on top of things. Things aren't so overwhelming. Um, and there's a sense of passion and excitement, wonder and awe about a situation, a project, whatever's really capturing your attention. The penguin. So perhaps there's darkness that you've been experiencing, whatever that represents for you, and it is now passing. And you're starting to see that, in fact, it is passing and it's not it's not hanging on. You know, it's falling away, which is wonderful. You 
You might be opening up and getting ready to receive. And instead of crying tears of pain, you're crying tears of joy because you're expecting that. You're moving into more joy and openness and blessings in your life. And you can sense and know that the darkness, whatever this is for you, is disappearing. And part of that might be about letting compassion and forgiveness be a top priority in a situation. You know, maybe it's forgiveness of self, uh, forgiveness of what others are doing to you or have done in the past, and allowing compassion um, to actually uh, fill you, um, compassion toward yourself, but also others, if they have harmed you or if they have wronged you in some way. Compassion and forgiveness might be it might be linked into this um, this here, but see how it resonates and and what um, and uh, what associations you have with these cards, the images, and and the words, and how it connects to your life. The Wolverine, you are a lot tougher than you think you are, so we often doubt how strong we are or other people can see our strength and we don't really see our own strength and you know this might be a lovely little uh, reminder that in fact you are stronger than you think you are the dog so we have loyalty faithfulness um now, are you stretching yourself too thin? Are you serving too many masters? Are you giving away too much of your energy? So your time, your resources, your thoughts, your emotions, kind of putting it on others or on situations external, but maybe there, there's a need to come back to yourself, a need to self-care. And maybe even time for reflection in terms of who you are loyal to and faithfulness, whether that's been misplaced or not. Um, yeah. What does this um, message and card, the image even, say to you? Is there an inspiration there? Creative thoughts? Subconscious um, prompting perhaps? Be kind always, even when someone doesn't seem to deserve kindness. Be kind anyway, for you know not of their struggles. And this is true in so many ways, isn't it? Because we can really judge the surface of a situation, but not really understand what's going on in a true way with someone. And, you know, this is always a really nice, gentle way to approach people and to approach situations, isn't it? always be kind and that's not always easy especially if we're feeling frustrated or we're, we're having a bad day but it's always something to you know it's a nice little reminder you were born with a purpose that is unique to you only you can carry it out so be so be you and trust God and believe in yourself yeah so there is a unique purpose here um something that only you can do you know it could be a an understanding you know this might prompt a reflection in you or an understanding that yeah that you only you have that you know of have a certain skill set um maybe you can offer this skill skills uh, the skill sets in a certain situation um yeah so what does this mean for you Forgive others even when you don't think they deserve it. Yeah, that's a really hard one too as well, isn't it? It's difficult to forgive others, especially when, you know, you don't think they deserve it. Uh, but you deserve the peace that comes from forgiveness. Yeah, so it really does bring peace to ourselves if we, if we feel really truly forgive. And it's not something that only happens once either. It's often something that we need to keep on doing again and again and again. Um, given with the same person, you know, that's often the case. Even if they're not in your life anymore, um, 
you know, our own uh, thoughts and emotions can come up in a negative way and then you need to forgive again. But this is really an empowering thing to do um, for our own selves. It really doesn't have anything to do with the other person. Lifting the spirits of others will do the same for you. Compliment others, put their insecurities to rest, and remind them they are worthy of love and respect. So we've got this um, beautiful message, beautiful reminder um, that being kind to others, lifting the spirits of others, complimenting others, putting their insecurities to rest, just making them feel overall good, you know, making, reminding them that they are worthy because they are, they are a human being. They are worthy of love and respect. You know, this might be actually prompting something within yourself where, you know, in a situation you are not being held in love and respect. And so, you know, that might need to be reflected upon. Changes may need to come into place. Um, yeah, it might start that process for you. Guardian angel. We all have a guardian angel. Yes. And so is there guardian angel often has um, this sense of uh, protection or association with protection so is there boundaries that need to happen or certain things that you want to put into place in your own life uh, to do with uh, protection or being a guardian of your own health life in some way or maybe it is a reminder that you do have a guardian angel we all have one guardian angel that God created just for us to, to put us um, on the right path toward God and to and to protect us also. Beauty. So we have this beautiful headdress um, made of flowers in the image maybe this is prompting some kind of association with flowers gardening um, hairstyle hairdressing haircut something like this um, beauty though so we've got yeah um, seeing beauty in other people of course seeing the beauty in what they do and what they say um, recognizing beauty in your day-to-day -day life um, even if it's just a small thing, it can always bring great inspiration and comfort. Um, but also seeing the beauty in yourself is important here. Love. So of course this might be speaking of uh, romantic love. Um, there might be a reflection or something happening there in your life where it needs thought or consideration but maybe it's familial love maybe it's to do with family or friends um, it might be more universal love so it might be more to do with um, the the earth the environment plants or animals reflection is there a situation that needs reflection in your life are you needing to take some time out to reflect, write it down, um, you know, process something that's happened? Could this be a powerful step to bring clarity to, a, to your life or, or to a decision or something like that? So there's a blessing in disguise here. Discover the hard to find blessing. Yeah, so there are silver linings in all of our situations, and this might resonate for you in terms of really being able to see that on a day to day level. Discover this hard to find blessing, this silver lining. Build in breaks. Saunter slowly. So being able to do things slowly or more gradually, not feeling rushed. 
but there's also a sense here of building in breaks if you are busy if you're really on the go um being able to slow down a little bit but this you were born this is nice you know is there a sense that you are born for a certain thing meaning you know you're just feeling very comfortable in a situation you're feeling like you're very good at something yeah so this could be in your work life or your personal life you just feel in the flow and in the zone and if you're not feeling in the flow and in the zone and as if you were born for something that you're doing at the moment maybe that's where this reflection comes in so you can discover that after glow yeah so coming down to rest gently after an experience landing gracefully what association does that have in your life how are you best at the moment equipped to land gracefully so you hold the key to an awakened life so a joyful life a, a, a life that is um, something you're uh, something that you're proud of, where you're feeling in alignment, where you're feeling in the flow, set yourself free. Maybe this is a prompt to assess what is holding you back. Um, where are you feeling restricted? Do you need to set yourself free in some way from someone, from a circumstance, from your own thoughts, emotions? What's, what is being, um, what is being brought up here for you? There's no place like home. So understanding uh, where, where you belong, where you've come from or where you belong, nestle into the sweetness. And so, you know, this could be speaking to you in terms of wanting to find a home, wanting to find that safe space. Uh, maybe you already have this safe space and you're enjoying it. Maybe changes are happening in terms of your home or where you feel comfortable. Maybe you're wanting your work life or your business to feel comfortable or you're wanting more um, uh, you're wanting more security in um, in your work life financially or with your networking or connections and this card this um, these words might be uh, prompting you to consider that how to best bring about that if it's something that you're hoping for or something that you're working toward. There's no place like home. What does this card and those words mean for you? It's been wonderful to go on this journey with you today. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.